Hey yo, this is the Liu Kang guide. Liu Kang with Kung Lao and Mutaro. That's because I believe that Kung Lao and Mutaro are probably his best cameos. They're the few, one of the few only cameos that give Kung, uh, Liu Kang grab combos. And they also help his accelerate his zoning. Because as you know, Liu Kang is one of the premier zoners in this game. So he's got good zoning, he's got good close-up. The only thing he lacks in is advancing buttons, but he makes up for that with his pressure tools. Obviously the first thing we do every time there's a, a guide is we talk about the buttons. So Liu Kang actually has the fastest stand one in the game. He's a six frame startup. Six frames on the stand one. So he can punish stuff that's minus seven. So he's got the fastest punisher in the game. It's stand one. The full stream is one, two, one. It's pretty good. Uh, hold on, let me just put him on block. One, two, one. Minus six on block. One, two, only, only zero on block. Very good. And plus one. Uh, sorry, stand one, plus three, obviously. St uh, stand pokes are usually plus on block. And so that's his uh, uh, fastest punisher, jab punish. And then he's got his forward one, four. This is also a really quick uh, a punisher. It's a fast string. Minus three only on block, and this is minus one. And if it gets hit, right, we'll go into this later, but you can actually launch with this to get a full combo. But we'll get into that later. So that's just forward one four. Forward one has a seven frame startup. Okay, and then he's got a really he's got a really good down one. Insane range. He's got one of the longest reaching down ones in the game. Next to like Sub Zero and Molina. So he's got a pretty good down one. And then he's got his stand two string. This string right here is plus three on block. Stand two two plus three. Stand two is my, uh, plus one. And then the full string is two two uh, three. Or is it two two one? Yeah, two two one. Minus four. It's safe. Uh, let's check if there's an armor gap. Yeah, no armor gap. <clears throat> no armor gap here either, I think. Nope, there's an armor gap there. One two one has an armor gap. Okay, so that's. It's a really nice tool for just doing plus frames, getting plus frames whenever you want. You can maybe get a mind game with backdashing, get a mind game with a throw, but it's plus three, really, really good frames. And then he's got his sort of advancing mid, back two. It's a 10 frame starter, really quick, minus four on block. And at the full string, back two, three. It launches. Keep in mind though the second hit is a high, so if the opponent decides to duck, if you if you go for the whole string and the opponent ducks the second hit, they can get a full combo punish on you. But it's safe on block if, if you just hit him with the block. And then he's got his the stand two string. He's got stand two stand three two. Stand three two, this one right here. It's plus on block and it's an overhead finisher. So sometimes it's has a lot of push that has a lot of pushback too. Right? On flawless block, it's minus eight, but let's be real, no one is flawless blocking this. Yeah, you cannot up block it. So it's completely safe, unless the opponent flawless blocks it, which almost no one's gonna do. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. And then he's got his 3 3 3 sting. This one right here. This is, used, this is usually used to extend his combos when we get into that, we'll talk about it. But usually used to extend combos, and that's most likely it. And then his down three, really good poke, really advanced, really far ranging, and it's just a all, all around good poke. Now you can't go wrong throwing that out. Okay, and then he's got his stand four, uh, four, uh, three string, stand four, three right here, high into mid. Not really, I don't really use it that much, but it is plus, plus two, stand four is plus four, so you can maybe throw it out and get some plus frames. And then he's got his back four, the sweep. His sweep is really good, plus one. Uh, it's got a really decent range, and it's got like pretty decent pushback too. Okay, and then his main string, the one that everyone uses, the forward four, three, four. The forward four, right here, it's a really good string. It's an auto shimmy as well, and it breaks armor on wake up. There we go, armor broken. So the forward it's probably one of the best meaties in the game because it option selects armor and it's also an auto shimmy it it kind of looks like a grab people always get shimmied by this it's a really good button the fulls and the forward four itself 
only minus four or minus three, four, four, three is minus four. These are really good uh, frames for wanting to maybe press a down one after if the opponent tries taking their turn. And the full string is forward four, three, four. Minus four, but the last hit is flawless blockable. And if they flawless block it, it becomes a full combo punish. Minus 14. And then we got his poke down four. Not too good, actually. It, it, I don't really like using this. His down three is much better, I would say. Because, look, the down three will reach, but the down four won't. As you can see. But the down four is safe on block. It's minus six. It's one of the safe uh, pokes in the game. And then uh, for air strings, I would say the only one that I actually use with, is probably 2 1 2 I use with, with Liu Kang. And then let's talk about his grab. His back grab. This one right here. He Sunoki leaves you right in their face for a dash up forward 4. Let me just turn off the reversal mode, get up mode. And the big thing is he can combo off of his throw with Kung Lao. Back throw. When he throws him to the other side, that's when you call Kung Lao. Throw him to the other side, call Kung Lao. Back 2-3, three, 3-3-3, three, 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 down back 4. Now, why do you end the combo in down back 4? Well, because down back 4 has tons of Oki. So you can dash up and press buttons. You can dash up and do another throw. Back Down back 4 is one of his best enders. So right here. I, I'm, I'm guaranteed a dash up forward four or a dash up grab. Now let's get on to his special moves. Liu Kang has a lot of special moves and they're, they have a lot of uses for them. So the first one we got is going to be back forward one. It's his high projectile. Main zoning tool, I would say. Very fast, very quick. Obviously from full screen, it's going to be plus. Even from here, it's, it's minus six, but... Yeah, very good projectile, and if you amplify it, it eats projectiles, and it becomes a mid. He can also do back forward one in the air, so he ends up doing that. Something Maybe you can do something like setting up a Lao Hat and then doing that to cover both options. And if you amp it in the air, he just shoots more, and it becomes a mid, so like it hits the guy when he's on the ground. And then he's got his down back one. This is his low projectile. Really good. Plus, like, like, look at it. It's like plus from like full to mid screen, like super plus. And if you do it like all the way from here, from full screen, and you call uh, Kung Lao, you can get a free jump in because you're so plus. Okay. And then if you amp it, it goes a little faster, and he shoots too. This is one of his best zoning tools as well. And then he's got his flying kick, which is not really a flying kick, but the back forward through. Okay, it's obviously unsafe on block. It's full screen. And it brings you close to them, even on block. And then if you amp it, it becomes like a projectile. So from full screen, it's like a projectile. And you can hit confirm it. You see a hit, hit from full screen, and you can throw another one out too then. Like that. And then he's got his uh, his armored move, back forward four. This is his dancing dragon, like the bicycle kicks. You can add, well, if you want more Oki. You can add some more combos with this. Get more Oki in the corner. And if you amplify it, this is his armored move. It changes properties. And then he's got Dragon's Rift. This is his special move anti-air. This is really good. This right here. It becomes invincible to jump attacks. It's a very easy anti-air. Okay. And there's obviously different versions of it. There's the close version of it and the normal version of it. If you do the, this is the normal version, which goes a little further. And the close version, he pretty much stays in the exact same spot. And you can amplify it to... Uh, and then it becomes cancelable on hit into a jump. So you can do something like... Like something like that. Cancelable on jump. Alright, let's get into some combos. The first thing you're going to want to know with uh, Liu Kang is every single grounded hit confirm. So 1, 2, 2, 2, forward, 4, 3. Um... What else? 
His uh, forward one, not forward one four, but every grounded hit confirm that the opponent is staying on the ground, you're gonna want to hit confirm into back forward three M. That becomes a launcher. Okay, hold on. Three 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 back forward three. That's it. That's his simple combos mid screen. So you can do it from forward four three as well. Boom, easy combo. And if you want it, you can spend more meter on it, like so. You can do two meters, like that, get more damage, 40%. It's decent damage, so that's the hit confirm you're going to want to get every time it's grounded. And then 3-3-3, three, 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 back forward 3. The other launcher he has is back 2-3. This, you're going to want to do when, when you know that the opponent's going to be punished, you know? Like, let's say the opponent's whiffing and you get a whiff punish, so you know that this is going to hit, they can't, they can't duck the second uh, hit. A combo goes back 2-3, three, back 2-3, three, 3-3-3, three, 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 back forward 3. Super simple, it's meterless. Uh, and you can also end in 3-3, three, three, down back 4 to get more OP. Okay? Every single combo you can end with down back 4 to get more OP if you feel like it. So that's his mid-screen combos, let's go to his, let's go to the corner combos now. Alright, so in the corner it becomes a little different. Instead of doing the back 2-3 after the amped uh, back 4-3, you're going to want to do 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Back 2-3, 3-3-3, three, 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 and then you can keep going. Boom, like that. Very good damage. For this one as well, you can do this now. The, the, the back 2-3 the back hit confirm. It's a bit different. Like that. That's meterless 40%. Like that, 50%. So the big combo from the grounded hit confirm goes like this. Oh, I messed it up there, hold on. You're supposed to do, at the end, you're supposed to end with stand four back, uh, back forward three. I'm, get, I'm not getting it yet, hold on. Boom. But you're only going to want to do that when, like, you know the round is going to be over. Now let's talk about some fatal blow combos. Now the fatal blow combo is, is easy, it's really easy. You're going to want to get any hit confirm. So one, two, into this. And after you do this, and you do back two, three. You're just going to do 3-3 three, three into Fatal. Not 3-3-3, three, 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 only 3-3. Three, three. If you do 3-3-3, three, 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 then it will drop. 3-3 three, three into Fatal, boom. 4-1-4. Four, four. Just 3-3 three, three into Fatal. After the up. Back 2-3. Three, three. Back 2-3. 3-3 three, three. Three, three Fatal. Let's talk about one of his anti-air combos. Let's say the opponent is jumping in on you. Like so, and you anti-air with this. Hold on, let me, let me do it right. Back 2-3, three, 3-3-3, three, 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 back forward 3. Super simple. Or if you get a stand 1 anti-air, the same thing. Or you can end the combo and down back 4 to get more OP. And now the back grab combo, oh, hold on. When he throws into the other side, that's when you call him out. 3-3-3, three, 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 down back 4. And you can loop that throw over and over again with the when you end the combo and the, when you end the throw combo in down back four because it has so much OP. All right, let's talk about some uh, some of the cameo specific stuff that we can do. We already talked about the throw combo with Kung Lao, so we're gonna talk, we're gonna cover Kung Lao first, right? One thing Kung Lao can do that we all are aware of is. When he puts the hat down, you can call the flying kick and make it plus. This is a quick way to get in. And you're going to want to time it so the hat hits right after the, the flying kick. Because then the opponent won't have time to do a down two trade. So then you'll be plus in their face. That's one thing you can do with the Kung Lao hat. Another thing you can do with the Kung Lao hat is go for setups. The unblockable, you know, the hard to block setups. So let's say you get a hit confirm. 
any combo, right? You're gonna wanna do three three. So you do you do this. You're gonna wanna do three three into the Lao hat and then do the car and then do the unblockable. Alright. You can do that off of any combo starter. Like right here. Three three. Call Kung Lao hat. And then make it unblockable. Or a hard to blockable. <laughs> Another thing you can do with Kung Lao I did not mention earlier when I was talking about the combos is instead of doing instead of spending a bar to get the launcher right here, the back forward three launcher, you can call the forward R1 Kung Lao and you can get an easy launcher like that as well. It's gonna be the same damage pretty much. This is also a side switcher. You can do the side switch combo like that. If you're in the corner and you want to switch comp sides, just like that. Super easy. I have this setup that I want to talk about. Okay, well basically you want to call the Kung Lao hat, and then you want to do this. So you call the Kung Lao hat, the opponent might jump, and then you can do that. And then let's say they don't jump. Let's say the opponent does not jump, he just holds block. Boom, you're plus. You don't have to worry, you are plus. Armor breaker set up. So first we're gonna put him on uh, get up mode on. We'll put on the enhanced soul charge. This is Kenshi's armor move. As you can see. So the way to do it is whenever you end a combo, you end it in the back forward three amp, but you don't follow it through afterwards. You're gonna want to do a jump in, jump two, and to stand one. And that'll break armor. So for example, let's try it after the back throw. Back row combo. 3-3, three, three, back row 3 amp, jump in. There we go. Broke the armor. Let's try it from one of the main combos. Broke the armor again. So that's a very reliable armor breaker setup you can do. And it's obviously you need to use one bar. Another thing you can do whenever you are uh, doing the back grab combos, I think I talked about it already. But when you do it, you're gonna you wanna end you wanna end in down back four, and then you can do a dash up forward four meaty, get an armor breaker just like that too. So Liu Kang has a lot of options to have guaranteed pressure against most of the cast, and you just have to practice the timing of it to make Liu Kang a rushdown monster. A different combo you can do in the corner if you don't want to spend two bars of meter as well. So let's say like the normal combo is this, right? You do this, I'm oh, sorry, do this, and then over here you spend another bar, right? So you don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to spend another bar because, let me show you real quick. So you only need one bar for this insanely damaging combo. The 3-3-3 three, three, three timing is kind of hard for the first one. Because you're gonna want, you're gonna want to try to hit it at, at the highest you can. Like that, and then three, 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 back forward three. So what will the whole combo look like? Just like that. Only one bar, but you get two launchers. So Kung Lao is probably Liu Kang's best cameo. By far, overall, he is probably his best cameo. So what does Motaro offer us that Kung Lao doesn't? Well, first of all, since Kung Lao had, did get nerfed, it's not plus 2 on block anymore. Motaro is hella plus on block. Plus, plus 13 up close. Right? People can just press out of it. If you do 4-4-3 four, four, Motaro, people can do like a down 1 out of it. But the point of the Motaro plus frames is not to open people up. It's so that you can... It's so when you hit them with the plus frames, you can dash up and do your strike throw game. So you shouldn't do forward 4-3 four, Motaro, forward 4-3 four, Motaro, you should not be looping that. You should be sneaking it up, you know, maybe 1-2 Motaro and then dash up grab, dash up back grab. Why? Because like Luke, like Kung Lao, Motaro also gives Liu Kang a, a back throw combo. So you do this, when he throws him to the other side, boom. Same combo. Motaro provides, provides that facility. Another thing Motaro provides is counter zoning. So let's say you were up against a zoner, like me, let's say Sindel or Kitana. You will be able to counter zone them with Motaro due to this. And another thing I like to do with Motaro 
is when I whenever I land one of these, like you know, one of the uh, the fireballs, like this, boom, I'm in their face. Same thing for on block as well. If you hit this on block, because this is so plus plus 15, you just call Motaro, and you're up in their face, and you'll be plus. The turret move. I didn't. I haven't really labbed any combos with the turret. This one right here. I would say this is just one of the easier ways of getting in. So you throw this down, and then you do this, and you are gonna be in. And also, you can do things like this. Instead of completing the whole string being minus six, you know, you can do this. You know what I mean? So Motaro can be good in certain matchups that maybe Kung Lao struggles in. Like let's say maybe against Johnny Cage. You you might want to use Motaro or maybe against uh, people that like Raiko, you might want to use Motaro so you can uh, uh, deflect his projectiles. And uh, if you if you like also, one other thing you can do, if you read like a projectile, right? You can just get out of there and punish. Like that's a punish, you know? Raiko's uh, throwing stars are also very like minus on recovery. So Kung Lao, uh, Liu Kang can also do that against Raiko. And I think that about wraps it up for Liu Kang. He's a really simple character, super very easy to play. He has very simple combos. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. That's it.